Harmony Honda is pleased and honoured to be a long-time sponsor of the Central Okanagan Sports Hall of Fame. This year, we have the privilege of introducing one of the 2021 inductees into the Hall, the 1993 Kelowna Spartans hockey team. The Spartans were unbeatable that year, winning the Canadian Junior A Championship. We welcome the Kelowna Spartans to the Hall of Fame in the team category. Congratulations. Kelowna has a rich hockey history filled with victory and success, from the Kelowna Packers to the Kelowna Rockets. But in 1993, the Kelowna Spartans were the talk of the junior hockey world in Canada. A team expected to make a run for the national championship fired its head coach early that season. Joe Oliver was replaced by a young Jim Hammett. That move triggered an explosion of talent and desire that would overwhelm their BC JHL opponents. We went on a roll, I, 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 you know, I can't remember exactly what it was, but I think we went on a roll of something like 11 games in a row, maybe a, a tie in somewhere sprinkled in there, um, which is a great run. Um, then I remember talking to the kids a little bit after Christmas and, um, you know, a couple of the leadership group came to me and we had this discussion of, boy, we got a special group here, we got a real chance. Uh, and then the second half, I mean, there was just no letting down. Um, I think our play just elevated and, you know, you have to get to the playoffs playing the right way and we did. Among the new faces on the team that year was a youngster from Kelowna who grew up dreaming of playing for the home team one day. Deanna Zoll knew right away this was a unique squad with determination, talent and a goal to win it all. They're a hard working group of guys, uh, practices, very focused, uh, very intense, they didn't like to lose, hated losing. And um, as, a, as a young guy coming in the league, uh, it was, you looked up to those guys and you didn't want to let them down when it was your turn to get on the ice. The Spartans rolled through the regular season, losing only 12 times. And when they got past their rivals from Penticton in the playoffs, the national championship tournament, the Centennial Cup in Amherst, Nova Scotia, was now in reach. Getting to the tournament itself was, I mean, that, it, it was tough, like I say. Um, I think one of the toughest things was leaving this building and our fans, you know, we had to leave them all behind. Uh, they were such a, a huge rallying point for us and the, the support we got from the, the community, I, I can't even describe to you, but once we got there, I remember we were walking into the rink and it was just another big wooden building with a lot of paint on it. We were kind of like, hey, we're home. For me, I, I'd never been involved in anything like that and minor hockey, uh, let alone junior hockey, and uh, uh, just enjoy the moment. And the guys were phenomenal. They played unbelievable that tournament, especially the top three there. I think they might have finished off one, two, three in scoring in that tournament, our top line. So everyone came together and yeah, it was an exciting time. As they did in the regular season and the playoffs, the Kelowna Spartans dominated the five-team championship tournament. In the round robin, they outscored their opponent 27 to 12, almost double their nearest competitor. In the title game, Kelowna down the Chautauqua Elites 7 to 2 to complete one incredible season. Really emotional, you know, obviously, but I remember the one point and it kind of, it made me laugh and it was kind of like a hitting home point, hey, we're, we're here. I'm sitting on the bench, you know, as a coach, you never take your foot off the gas pedal, you never stop worrying. But I remember we were standing on the bench and. Our captain, Stefan Walby, he just turned around, he gave me a big grin, and I went, there it is. Without question, the 1993 Kelowna Spartans are one of the most dominant teams to ever play in the BC Hockey League and deserve their place in the Central Okanagan Sports Hall of Fame in the team category.